Hey everyone, Donna Vincent here. Today I will be walking you through how I created this postcard in Canva. I also had Canva print it for me. It's front and back. And if you weren't aware, Canva does do printing. I've had them print business cards, a trifold brochure for me that I recently created in Canva and had them print. And it did come already folded up for me so I didn't have to sit and fold it. The quality is very good and the prices are very reasonable. So you can create right within Canva and have them print it for you. And it comes fairly quickly. Within a week I got my order from Canva. Before I share my screen and jump into the postcard, if you have anything that you have questions on, need help with, want to see a training on, please put it in comments. And I want to quickly introduce myself. For those who don't know me, I'm a work from home dog mom of two. I help pet parents. I'm also a virtual consultant where I help the busy business owner to free them up from those daily tasks that are taking them away from focusing on their business, such as social media management or creating in Canva. So if you do know someone who needs help, please send them my way. I'm taking my 20 plus years in the IT field and my technology background, and I'm putting it into a new virtual consulting business that I've created. Let me share my screen and we'll jump right into creating the postcard. From Canva, the main screen, all you need to do is type postcard and it will bring up the postcard template. So it's the perfect size. When you go to order and print, if you're printing from Canva, you can select a larger size. This size that it comes, which is five by five by four by two by 4.25 inches was the perfect size for me. And for most, I would think it would work. Once you get into Canva, Look at the templates that are already here. I started with a template and just changed the colors and changed the images. Let's just select and you'll see there's a front and a back to the postcard. You don't have to use both, but there is a front and a back. So this is not my colors. It's not an image that I want for what my postcard was. So all I need to do is go to photos. I can grab an image. Let's take a dog and a cat because this was a thank you card that I'll be sending to the pet parents that I work with. We'll just grab an image. and replace the image. Let's move that. Let's change this image. This image isn't working very well. So once you get an image in there, I want to change the color because it's not my brand color. Get rid of text that I don't want. And my card was a thank you card to my customers. So I'll just type thank you. Whoops. I have to ungroup this. If it's grouped, you need to ungroup before you can delete anything. And then you have the back of the postcard. I don't want an image there. I just want it plain because I have text that I want to put on my postcard. You can even change the line colors that are on your postcard so everything matches your brand color. Then I just went to text. I'm 
and started typing in some text. Whoops. And then I just typed in text. You can see I have a bit of text on my postcard. And then on the bottom of my postcard, I did put my website. So if you want to put your website on the postcard, I had just put that on the bottom here. Change the font size. And this was my website URL. You can also put more images. Let's move this a little bit. You can put more images on the back if you want. You can have images on the back and the front. Once you're happy with your postcard, you would go up to Use My Design, Print Postcard, and then you have the options. Here is where you can make it larger. If you want it 7 by 5.5 inches, you can make it larger if you don't want the standard postcard size. Then it defaults to double-sided if you have the front and the back. You want to select both pages. And then you have your print options, premium paper or deluxe. I just did the premium paper and it's nice and thick, good quality. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. The finish, matte, gloss, or uncoated finish. Mine is just the matte finish because I wanted it to be easy to write on. Then you can select the number of copies and here you can see the price. It's very reasonable. All the way from one copy down to 1,000 copies. And you can see the prices. If you want an envelope to use, instead of writing on the back of the postcard, you could always remove these lines. And if you want to just put text along the postcard, instead of putting the name and address on the back, and you just want it to be all text, you can delete all this and get envelopes with it and put the postcard in the envelope. Free delivery, five days and delivery is fast. And then you just go on and continue your order and make payment. And that's how quick and easy it is to create a postcard in Canva. So I hope that quick postcard demonstration was helpful to you. If you have any questions, put it in comments, put your questions in comments. And again, if you have something that you want to see turning on, please also put that into comments. Donna Vincent here. I will talk to you all again soon. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.